CCC members, it's Kyle back here in the fitness center. We're in the basement today, um, just trying to manipulate, you know, I can do these exercises anywhere kind of idea. So today we're gonna go over a specific exercise. We're gonna kind of get this uh, series going where we talk about an exercise, um, give you some like trainer tips and hints how to do it proper form and then ways to regress or progress make them easier or harder uh, for them on your own so to start with today we're going to start with a gentle easy squat okay one of the principal core exercises i would say for any lower body or core uh, movement okay so very simply a squat is lowering yourself to the ground and pushing yourself back up okay no, no real like crazy things there. All we're gonna do is uh, first motion has to be engaging your core, so squeezing your abs tight. That's gonna really cause your hips to have good mobility. You're gonna throw your butt behind your heels, okay? Making sure you have good posture, making sure my chin stays high, I'm not rounding my back, and we're just gonna lower down to the ground as slowly and carefully as you need to, and then push down on the ground to make yourself back up. My ankles didn't come off the ground, my knees didn't track in front of my toes, my butt stayed behind my heels, that keeps my center of gravity right in the middle of my body, okay? So that's the key point on how to do a squat. Um, focus on those couple things and I'll do a couple more after this but you're really making sure your core is tight your butt is back and you're pushing your heels into the ground okay so regression a way to make a squat easier you can always manipulate the depth of your squat especially if your limiting factor is knee pain or hip travel if you're not able to get your hips behind your hip, uh, heels and they're staying more in the in the way of your uh, knees traveling forward really make sure you go down as far as you can before your hips start to travel forward Okay, so if I can only do a squat to right here, that's okay. Stay there for as long as you need to, and then progress one inch lower at a time. So there's a regression. Progression, or any way to make it harder, let's, let's play around with our pace of our squat, because this is the easiest way to make things harder, is you either make them slower or faster. Um, either way makes, makes the squat a little bit harder. So let's say my normal squat pace one second down, one second up. That feels like a good motion of my legs, motion of my core, okay? Making things harder, I'm gonna make them slower just because the slower I go, the more concentrated the motion, the easier I can feel different parts of my body need to work and um, make, that, make that motion possible, okay? So there's an eccentric and concentric squat. So I slowed myself all the way back down, I slowed myself all the way back up, now you can do explosive squats or faster squats, okay? So my regular squat is down and up. My explosive squat is down and up. I'm lowering myself down, actively pulling, and then I'm pushing myself back up. If you wanna add a plyometric element to that, you can always jump. I choose to have not as much impact on my knees, uh, but that's up to you to decide if you have, obviously, the height of the ceiling to do that. So hopefully that makes sense. Let me know if you have any questions. I'd be happy to demonstrate a squat at any time. Thanks so much.